My name is Scott Hamilton Kennedy, and I'm a documentary filmmaker here in UC Davis working on food evolution. In terms of our production schedule, our shooting schedule for the documentary, we're probably still in the first third, maybe first half of uh, production. And it's just, it's been amazing. Uh, we've learned so much. I'm Trace Sheehan, and I'm the producer and co-writer of Food Evolution. Where we have been filming scientists, farmers, professors, activists, people on all sides of the global food security and sustainability debate. We have been following around Pam Ronald, uh, the plant geneticist who came up with scuba rice, the first submersible rice, which has done wonders for poor farmers around the world, particularly in Asia, who have had their crops destroyed by floods. And obviously, with climate change, uh, any of these plants that could withstand drought or withstand flooding are incredibly important. Um, that could be the difference between millions of people starving to death. And her husband, uh, Raul Adamchak, he is uh, an organic farmer, runs the uh, organic farm here on the campus of UC Davis, and, and their marriage is not only a marriage of Pam and Raul, but a marriage of technology and organic sustainable farming that so often in this debate you hear these two sides pitted against one another when in actuality that doesn't need to be the case and, and they are sort of the living proof that these two philosophies, these two ideologies of, of innovation on the one hand and sustainable farming practice on the other can really coexist. We've got quite a bit of filming still to do and we'll be going to upstate New York and the New York area for a New York Times food event. We will be going to Iowa for the World Food Prize. We will be going to Africa uh, and parts of Asia, South Asia, hopefully India, Bangladesh, Thailand, possibly even China. It's a very complicated subject, it's a very important subject, and we've, we're very happy to find in our research that there's not one silver bullet about the way we're going to get to 9 billion in 2050. It's not going to be one piece of technology, it's not going to be one type of agriculture, it's not going to be one piece of, of policy that's going to do it. It's going to take a lot of smart people working together uh, to, to come to these ends. This is a very hot topic right now, you know, feeding 9 billion, doing it sustainably, equitably is is on the radar uh, so I think you know this film couldn't be happening at a better time so I think people are eager to talk about it it's such an incredible journey of, of discovery and meeting people that just have fascinating jobs and inspire me every day so it's it's a great honor